Hi everyone, um, Angela from the Free Range family here again, day 7 of the 30 day video challenge and following on a little bit from yesterday, um, I said I wanted to talk a little bit more to you about um, this book, um, Pig Tits and Parsley Sauce, written by a woman called Lynn Webster. Um, she was the inspiration for me wanting to get into living a more sustainable lifestyle. Um, I actually heard about her book through her website, Pig Tits and Parsley Sauce, um, and I was inspired by her story whereby she um, had a farm um, and uh, was in, um, uh, in trouble of, of losing her farm. Um, and so she had to make some drastic changes and decided to try and reduce her grocery budget. So she pretty much halved her grocery budget to $100 a week. This was for herself and her two teenage daughters. Um, and uh, so then she started to make some of her own cleaning products and cosmetics because um, she realised she found recipes on the internet and realised it was going to work at a whole lot cheaper, especially when a lot of the recipes, the basic um, ingredients are things like baking soda and white vinegar. Um, so the other thing that she ended up doing then was she realised oh, that she's on a farm, so she's got access to meat and fresh milk, so she slashed her grocery budget again by another $25 a week. So at this point they were living on $75 a week for three of them. Um, and then she started writing a blog post for the local newspaper, um, and it became so popular that she, this is when she set up her website, um, and then further down the track she um, wrote the book, Pig Tits and Parsley Sauce. Um, and I think now she lives on about $35 a week it may be, um, for her and one of her teenage daughters. Um, so, I mean, it just goes to show what's possible if you are uh, in a situation where you need to make changes. Um, we were in a situation a year ago where we needed to make some changes to our finances and um, I found out about Lynn Webster and her book and I ordered the book um, and I read it from cover to cover in about two hours one afternoon and I just I just couldn't put it down it was just so interesting and it's so related to our situation and immediately I sat the kids down and I said right we're gonna make this change to our lives um, I'm going to stop buying snacks from the supermarket. We're going to start uh, doing all our baking. We'll make all the snacks here at home. Um, we started making our bread. Um, we have set up a small vegetable garden. It's not huge. Um, so now I try and stick to our grocery budget of $100 a week for myself, Scott, and the two kids. Um, and we manage that quite nicely. Um, uh, it's managed to save us um, a huge amount of money on groceries. When I hate to think that, you know, we used to spend over two hundred dollars a week on groceries, and to what we spend now is amazing. Um, uh, and I also brought out a passion in me for wanting to make my own um, cleaning products and cosmetics. Um, so much so that now I bought the franchise um, or a franchise to do classes in Wellington just so I can show other people how to make their own cosmetics and cleaning products because people think oh it's too hard it'll take too long um, I don't have time um, and it, I just want to be able to show people how easy and quick it really is to make all these products um, I owe a lot of this um, to Lynn Webster and she's a huge in inspiration for me um, so if anyone's interested in learning more about these products, um, you can follow us on Facebook or on our website, www.freerangefamily.net. Uh, also, just as a footnote, um, I will talk a little bit more tomorrow about our um, inspiration, I suppose, for wanting to lead a more sustainable lifestyle and how these um, changes um, or why we've changed our course of direction I guess in the last few years. Okay, uh, I'll let you know more tomorrow and have a good night. See you later.